Hi there guys, Sam here. Welcome back to another video. Join once again in my Mark 7 Golf R to talk a little bit around the Mark 8 Golf R and the Mark 8 GTI Club Sport and why UK prices haven't been announced. So yeah, let's go for a drive and we'll discuss that topic. So let's get straight into this one. Yes. Here the EA AAA engine start into life. Stick it into race mode. Turn start stop off. and turn off traction control, we're all good to go. Now, I think this is actually a good chat because I don't understand why they're not releasing the official pricing yet in the UK. Um, I've had plenty of comments on this one for both cars, actually. And um, yeah, nothing's come up. So we can only assume that the Mark 8 Golf I is gonna cost sub 40,000 um, pounds, but we don't know the exact amount. And the GCI Club Sport, you'd expect it to be sort of £37,000. But until they actually officially announce it, it is a bit frustrating. And they just sort of build up a hype, get you really excited, and then, yeah, suddenly slap a massive price tag on it. If you do want, for the Mark 8 Golf Iron specifically with drift mode and all the performance pack stuff, it's going to be over £40,000, which is a real shame. Um, I just wish they would announce it. <laughs> um, is it worth it? I'm not so sure. I think, um, bear in mind, it's the same EA AAA engine in this exact Mark 7. It's a bit of an interesting one. But I, I've had lots of comments from, like, from even, like, well, all around the world, actually, to be honest with you, which is really nice as part of the channel. And, um, yeah, they're kind of asking the same questions. We've obviously got an idea of pricing around certain areas of Europe and stuff. But nothing here. Um, but good news for those who are savvy and are after a used buy. Um, because I had a little check to see how much an Audi S3 new would cost and on Auto Trader, absolutely brand spanking new for quite a, with a few options as well it was just under £36,000 and that's a 70 plate brand new car so I think that's quite good and it hopefully bodes well for those looking to save a little bit of money <laughs> that you will be able to get a Mark 8 Golf R for a good price. I think just in the, it's just the time that we're in, obviously it's very, very difficult for everyone. I think we might be able to get a decent deal and have a great car as a result. Seeing the Audi S3, which is fundamentally the same car, 
few brake horsepower down for that sort of price even at this stage so yeah if you're like me and you want to get a bit of a deal and you don't fancy taking a complete hit on a brand new car um yeah exciting times exciting times with hot hatches but yeah let me know your thoughts let me know your thoughts and why you think they've delayed it i'll continue having a bit of a fun drive unfortunately i'm stuck behind whatever that is um seems to be closed which is a bit of a shame just my luck eh trying to have a fun drive in my golf R. but yeah let me know do you think the price is going to be a huge factor for you um are you a bit surprised that they haven't officially announced it yet and yeah do you have any more information about it so let me know your thoughts in the comments below on the club sport and the mark 8 golf R. 